Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I am here with this little one today. So, I just wanted to show you guys what I made today, and if you guys didn't see this, this is a little sock that I made into a little sleep, sleep sack, which looks so adorable. And then you see these little hand mittens I made her? So, um, this little one, um, uh, I made different pacifiers for 10 inch babies. So, um, I made like that one, and then I made like this one, and um, the reason why I made these is because people are making pacifiers for reborns. They're not making them for silicone babies. And I can never find any pacifiers that have nipples on them so they can stick inside the mouth of the, re uh, the silicone babies. So I needed to come up with an idea of how to make um, like a nipple. And I figured out how to make it. This one doesn't look that great, but I kind of figured out um, as I was going how to get them to look a little better. But they don't need to be perfect, the nipple part, because it's just going inside the mouth. But let me see if I can show you. I finally figured out this one looks a lot better. It looks more like a nipple. So this one, I just made little balls. And they, um, this one's like really thick, I think. So, these will go in a lot easier, too. And you can have different size ones. So, like, this one would be like a boy one. And then you have different size pacifiers. So then, this one would probably be for, like, an 8 or 9 inch baby. And, or maybe even a 7 inch baby. And then this one's more for, like, a 10 inch. So this, her... And then I wanted to show you, so I'm going to show you all the passies I made. So I've been working on pacifiers today. So these are all for like the 10 inch babies. And then those are for my 6 inch babies right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but the nipple is a certain way, like a certain size. So it fits into the baby's mouth. And then I don't know if you can see the, there we go, just needs to focus, so see the nipple there. But then for my four inch baby, or four and a half inch baby, she needs her own kind because she, I actually had to cut her mouth. So it will fit a pacifier, but see how cute those look like on her? So, um... I am getting more of these little beads, or whatever they're called, and I'm going to make a ton of these. And what I might do, because a lot more people like myself have this, you know, have these kinds of babies, maybe I might, um, after I get the, because um, there's ones that have color to them, so I'm going to get the colored beads. And then um, what I'll probably do is like sell like three to a pack uh, for these little ones anyways. And then um, I can sell these ones. And then you can either have it with the nipple or without. I figure I just do that. And I think there's a person on, e on eBay that sells them like these. And, uh, but I'm going to just do it on my Etsy. So I'm just trying to just come up with new ideas. And I really like these, um, let me show you what I did with these shorts. Uh, I, and the skirt. I fixed the skirt. Um, the skirt will now look like this. And what I did was I glued the bottom. And it looks a lot better glued like that. And then I did the same thing with the, you know, it's a little stiff at the bottom. Let me just put the camera down for a second. It's a little stiffer here, but you can still 
you know, open it up to a point, and then you just slip the leg in there, and, you know, it's still pretty stretchy. And I'm going to probably do the same thing with the leg, uh, with the uh, pants as well. So, and isn't this really cute? It's just a blanket. So, she just looks so nice and cozy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm jealous of how cozy these babies look. I wish I had soft blankets like them. So, I'm just working on um, different things. So, I just, I finished up these. I did that to all of them today. And, um, it's stiff at the bottom, but I'm okay with that. Like, I think that that would be fine, because the babies just stay, they stay still anyways, they don't really move, so. So, she's got the, this one, which looks very similar to that, and then she's got this one, and then she's got this one, so. So, she's got shorts, so, three skirts and a, and a shorts, and I'm going to make her some pants. And that's really it for now. Um, I have another thing of mittens. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about maybe going to... Um, I have these baby bottles um, that I want to get rid of. So there's a shop down the street. It's a consignment shop. I'm going to see if maybe I can make some kind of deal with her. Um, you know, maybe I could do some kind of, like, you know, like a percentage, like how much I can get, and then just do store credit, like, um, that way she doesn't even have to give me any cash, she can just buy, like, X amount of dollars of stuff from her, and maybe do something that way, because I, I would like to get some more girl hand mittens, and, um, and, um, some more girl hats. I know I need those two things. Um, socks, if I can find any. I want to make some socks for her. And, uh, I think that's, uh, it's me. Oh, and maybe some onesies as well girl ones for now because I have so many boy ones you should see how many are already lined up getting ready to go like look at all that these are all cut already like just waiting to get sewn but this right here is just all I have for girl stuff so I definitely need more girl onesies so that's a definite must oh and uh, let me show you what I made today so I made this little thing for her so now she has a little boo, and it has an elastic. I just love this glue gun. I've never used a glue gun before. It burns your fingers, but I just love it. So now it's just elastic in the back, and you just... And I glued this. So I have a ton of these little cutie things, so I think I'm going to try and make a bunch of those for 10 inch babies um and um i have a reborn the reborn one and then i might do the silicone um like a silicone like one because this baby's head's bigger than the reborn ones that are 10 inches so um by the time you get the baby like if you got that at home it wouldn't fit so i'll have to go off the reborn uh one so she is having some custom ones especially for her but that's all i can really tell you right now oh and um well you already know but um if you didn't see my other video, I got some sculpting clay, and I'm going to go back to the store tomorrow. I haven't decided what size baby I want to make, because I'm thinking maybe 
I should get another another thing of it. I just don't know what eight ounces really give you. But when I go like this to my four ounce, I mean my four and a half inches, that's all I'm seeing. So I was hoping to have like a 10 inch baby out of the deal. And I don't think I'm going to get a 10 inch baby. Like just that looks like the head. So, and then that would probably be the body. So I would need at least two of these to try and make a 10 inch baby I mean a 10 inch baby I think for me like even a 9 an 8 to 9 8 to 10 inch baby is what I'm hoping for so I'm probably just gonna go back and get just one more package that's probably my best bet and I'm doing it in this so I can leave it as the clay and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the mold or if I'm just gonna have somebody maybe help me do it so I haven't quite decided that but the cool thing is is at least it would be uh, and it's only if it comes out good if it don't come out good then obviously we're not gonna do anything but it'd be just nice to see what I can do if I can even do it so we will talk to you guys later thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe thanks guys